Hello guys, welcome back. We're in QC again. And today we're drawing this guy, Mr. Jollibee himself. So yeah, let, let's go ahead and draw. And no, we're, we're not out of ideas guys, it's just that I kind of really wanted to draw him. Um, an interpretation of him maybe but but yeah um, I was planning on some serious episodes and I think it's a, a good refresher or a change of pace drawing something a little bit on the brighter side so yes this one I'm going to try a different style but the concept is that I wanted to see Jollibee in a different sort of context, maybe not in his usual space. Um, I went with like a surprise expression on his face because he always just seems smiling blankly, even on his shows. So. I thought I'd try that, although in hindsight I think I, I could have gotten for something I could have gone for something more uh, dramatic in terms of difference because he still looked like he's uh, smiling here but I was, sort of, uh, I was sort of wanting to have this situation where um, a random like uh, paparazzi was uh, taking a photo of him and he was on his way from work something like that but you know it's just a fictional thing so you know probably doesn't make any sense anyway so here um, I'm trying to do more of like a painterly feel to it and I've seen some tutorials making digital paintings um, and what they do is they first do like a grayscale version of it so that they can um, put the tones and the values first and add the, the actual colors later um, so that I think the the concept is that if in case you weren't happy with the colors that you uh, choose you don't have to repeat a bunch of uh, painting and shading and you just have to touch the color layer in order to edit it but yes th that's what I'm trying to achieve here just uh, going for some values defining my mid-tones and uh, shading I did see some other videos um, saying that it's not the best method and um, you're missing some opportunities to actually blend color but um, I was just curious so um, I tried it and yeah it's the first time I'm doing the style so apologies in advance I'll be making several mistakes obviously. Um, I did already make a mistake here with the other hand and of course the the backside of his tuxedo but you'll see in a bit why that's not too much of an issue but initially I, I thought I wanted it in motion so I didn't really define it too much probably not the best way to go about it but yeah we will be adding the wings afterwards so there's that so as explained earlier this method of painting is where you just put the colors on top so here that's what you're seeing here I've added some blue screens to the background and adding the colors of the character and that is on a separate layer on top of everything else and um, the uh, blending mode that it shows was soft light so if you're 
trying to do the same style, you'll end up probably picking a much darker version of the color you're looking for. But yes, that's that's the method basically. I had this idea initially that I wanted him to be on like a casual attire, but I was afraid he wouldn't look too jolly bee-ish if he wasn't wearing his uniform. Because uh, of course I still wanted to capture that uh, look of his. So just messing around with some shading here. Also in this method as you can already tell, sometimes the colors come off as dull so I will be doing some tweaking with the entire um, drawing afterwards that just helps the colors to pop up uh, a bit better. So now I'm just adding some details, some lashes, and some um, facial features. Um, I did stop because um, it was starting to look a little too creepy. Uh, I, I think it, it's uh, you know, uh, a thing when you try to make something realistic that's not supposed to be realistic, so I just stopped there. And here, I just am adding like a dramatic um, light on that uh, side of his body. That's part of the reason why I darkened that uh, right side earlier. Now I'm darkening that to get it ready for the wings because the wings in this version I, I decided to to give him like um, energy wings or something like that um, but it's mostly the same type of um, wing it's just that I made this more magical looking and yeah, um, I added some some lights around him, big, because reasons. And here, because yeah, here uh, I'm just cheating a bit. Um, I just blurred out parts of it that um, I knew I couldn't really, um, you know, uh, fully complete. Because you have to remember, I'm just doing this on a time limit of two hours, and here is the finished sketch of um, Jollibee and that's after I made all the adjustments and before I let you guys go um, I just wanted you to know that I'm working on several projects that's the reason why I haven't been posting in it for a while but basically um, I did want to follow up on some of those older videos like the one that I just uh, showed there for um, something I'm going to call Dimapas Lang and also um, probably a movie review of uh, The Joker because it, it's, it's a great film to, to try and um, talk about and I know I'm late for the party but I'm gonna do it anyway and I have some other ideas so stick around and uh, thank you for watching have a good day